we are here we are at Merle Hay Mall, which is home to Flick's Brew House. Going in to see Kung Fu Panda. Craig's already in there because I got to the door and realized I left my phone in the car. The mall is very quiet. I wonder if we'll be the only ones in the theater. It happens quite a bit when we come during the week. Going up. And I think we're gonna have to buy them up there at the bar. We never have anyone over here anymore. Craig, can you give us a review of Kung Fu Panda? Kung Fu Panda's core is wonderful. It's terrific. The characters are amazing and the animation is wonderful. I give it two thumbs up, five stars, and the Craig A. Banner Civil Approval. I thought we'd just take a walk around the mall, get some exercise. I'll show you what's left at Merle Hay Mall. I'm not sure what that is over there. It looks like they have model trains though. Over here is a splatter room where you make the splatter paintings. Looks like a boutique over there, which is not open. I have not seen this before. Some kind of a play area? Kid Empire. Oh, I see, they have bouncy things over there too. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, that's pretty cool. I'll have to tell Stephanie probably already knows about it. And if you can see in there, there's all kinds of climbing places. Craig's getting way ahead of me. <laughs> they also made a pickleball court out of one of the empty mall. This is still the Kid Empire. What a great idea. A great place for a birthday party. And this is the pickleball. I'm not sure what you call it. <laughs> Yonkers. Yeah, it used to be Yonkers. And here's what's left of the food court. Not very many people here. It's 123. Um, this was a great barbecue spot, but they were hardly ever open. I'm guessing they're not here anymore. Stu's Barbecue. And this is a really good Vietnam cafe. We have really good pho. I've had that here before. Um, I guess this place is closed too. It's a little Mexican restaurant and next to it's the Maid Right. And I think that's the only restaurants left in here now, sadly. Let's look in the window over here. See if we can figure out what it is. It's the Iowa Garden Railway Society. Iowa Garden Railway so <laughs> It's the Iowa Garden Railway Society. You can kind of see the little trains in there. They must only be there like for special things. I can see lots of stuff in there. There's actually model trains set up. Can you see that? Yeah. I can see some things over here too. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder when they're open. That looks like a shop that's either opening or closed. Future nightmares coming soon. Hmm. Sci-Fi FX shows. Follow us on Facebook. Interesting. Look at this. 
Be wary, this is scary. It says to push it. Craig, come here. Craig, come here. I don't know, let's find out. It says we're supposed to push that button. You gonna push the button? See what happens? No, you do it. You afraid to? Look, that. it's that. It's a beating heart. Is it death something? <laughs> it is a nightmare. <laughs> see place. So, oh, I see they have tracks in here. Tracks? Yeah, for our, so you can race your remote controls. Well, they're coming up with lots of good ideas for this mall. I like seeing that. I mean, I'd love to see stores, but I understand it's hard to make a go of it these days. Here's Bath and Body Works, which we're coming back to. Over here is a place with lots of dog stuff. It's called... It's called... There's a name. Oh, Hiking Dog Company. Hike with dogs. Over there, there's the White Rabbit Virtual Reality. I'm guessing most of these places are only open on the weekend. There's the Hot Topic, which is, well, maybe they just have the door closed. This is Just Paws, which is a lot of dog toys and dog clothes. This is a brow place. Over here is Iowa Custom Designs t-shirts and things like that. Over on this side is a really pretty big Old Navy store. That's been here for quite a while. Should we walk down this first? Look. Let's see if we see and anything interesting in the window. We are done. Looks like they're ready for summer. Let's see over there, there's a shoe carnival. And this is a uh, mishmash shop, that's what I'm going to say. It looks like it has uh, several different things in it. Uh, Love Vegas Lingerie Boutique. Anyway. We've got a shag over there and a five below. A store that sells very ornate prom dresses, Angelica's Designs. I think they also rent tuxes there. Yes, I see them on the end. And at the very end is Target. We're going to take just a quick peek in Five Below, see if there's anything new and exciting here. On the sensory aisle. This is usually my favorite aisle, Any all the longer. surprise toys. Let's see, what are these? They are Bobby Loons. Hmm. It's very, it's a very soft broccoli. It's pretty cute. Let's put that there. Cry babies. No. I think it says no cry babies, right? Yeah. It's too much. <laughs> How is Webby? She's doing 
I think she's doing better than yesterday, um, but she's been laying on the couch all day. Not feeling great, but better than yesterday. Right. Maybe we can find something to cheer her up. So far, I don't see anything here, though. Really. These Yoshis. Yoshis. Yeah. Oh, they come yeah. in colors besides the green Yoshi, or yeah. the red Yoshi, the yellow Yoshi, the blue Yoshi, the pink Yoshi, the purple Yoshi, the black Yoshi, and the brown Yoshi. Do you want one? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Patrick and Darren. Gary. You didn't? It's on lots of. Oh, I love these guys. They're so cute. It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, and I thought it was Donald Duck. <laughs> There's all their Easter things. All right, we've seen enough. Time to get on with our walk. They do have an Ulta. Probably one of the more popular stores in here. And there's a jewelry store, Riddles Jewelry Store. Let's do the loop here, Craig. Wait a minute, the whole truth, the absolute history. And if you walk down this way, there's an Aunt Annie's. As far pretzels, as which you far can as smell right away. Far as I know. It smells you delicious. Know There's some. I don't know what's going on behind there. Maybe they're putting in something new. There's a lens crafters. There's an ice cream place up here and a cute little children's play area over here we have a claire's boutique um game stop over there um some kind of a store lowry's fashion designer fashions there's a torret over there and a kid's foot locker I'm not sure what the store is called, um, but you can see for yourself. You know the picture, huh? <laughs> it's called Bratz Underground <laughs> Records Vintage Clothing. There's a Ross here. There's a Rue 21 over there. There's still a few stores left in here. And I think we're probably coming to the end of it now. So, you look out the store, you see Felix and Oscars. Craig and I have actually ate there before and done a video. There's a Hobby Lobby behind it and Burlington, which we've done several videos on. There's a nail place there. I'm pretty sure that maybe there, there used to be a pet shop in this mall many, many, many years ago before Stephanie was even born. So over, well over 30 years ago when Joe and I were first married, we bought a a kitten in there. Maybe we bought two over the years. We always used to stop there to see the pets. And one of the kittens happened to have feline leukemia and we later had to have her put to sleep, which was very, very, very hard. And that concludes our trip around the mall and now we need to stop in at Bath and Body Works. 
And it always smells really good in here. Tropidelic. First things first, Craig always has to wash his hands in here. <laughs> Which one did you use? The pink one. The pink one? which is Pineapple Sunrise. I just smelled this Tropidelic and it smells wonderful. She said it's their most popular seller. I'm trying to, it's very floral, very floral. It's nice. But this is what I'm here for because I love having these going in the house and Craig likes having them in his room now, so Try and pick up a few more. This is definitely one of my favorites. It smells nice and fresh and relaxing. Yeah, definitely I want some of these. And this is my other favorite. It smells like fresh laundry or I don't know, it's hard to explain, but this smells so good. He might like it because he likes sweeter than me. What do you think? It smells like tutti frutti. Yeah, it smells strongly of candy, that's for sure. I think it, what's it called? Cottontail cake pop? Yeah. Cotton what do you think it tastes like? It smells like. Midnight blue citrus. And today, we're taking a trip to John Wayne's birthplace, Winter Set. As you may know, Winter Set is the home of famous cowboy John Wayne. And don't you forget it. Thing. And don't you forget it. You're good at that. Can you tell us more about the birthplace of John Wayne? You see, it has a museum, a documentary, and this is where he lives in John Wayne, his home. He was a baby. But sadly, John Wayne had passed away. That's a very sad thing, you know. And now it's time once again for Travelogue with Craig A. Benavir. And now here is your host, Craig Allen Benavir. Yay! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to our very new, another episode of Travelogue. I am Craig Allen Benavir. And today, we're taking a trip to Omaha. As you may know, Omaha is in Nebraska, where the Omaha Zoo lives. You might remember the Blank Park Zoo, which is a smaller zoo, where all the animals survive from hunters. It's a refuge, huh? It's a refuge. And they love living here. But I'm also in charge of the DVDs and who play in this shape. Now, thanks to your hacking, getting rid of some of the DVDs that are too much, there's not enough room to go around. I see a point. Yes, I do see your point. They love living here, but I can't let them stay. They have to find a home. Your DVDs? The thrift store, and I hope that they may. Good luck, boys. Good luck. And all that was left beneath the bad smelling sky was my big empty house. Was my big empty the house. And you didn't know why. And him, Sorry. the Lorax. Dropped off some donations at St. Vincent's, so of course we have to go in and take a look around. We're doing a lot of spring cleaning right now, trying to get rid of a lot of stuff that we haven't used in a long time. These is Scholastics. Is your mama a llama? And this one's Hans Christian Anderson. Those look like good ones.
Thank you.